I'm starting the prep work on a project that's been six months in the making. My 2002 Logic has a 90 horsepower Mercury from the same year that started overheating in July so bad that I had to park the boat. I bought a new boat. Now I'm trying to make a mount so I can work on this thing inside over the winter. I thought about making an engine stand from scratch, but the fact is, I have one in my garage. It doesn't belong to me, it belongs to my dearly departed brother-in-law, but I talked to the family and got permission to use it. Now I, I want to remove the center post there and put a taller post in, but it's got this rusted out half inch steel bolt, completely corroded and snapped off. If you've done this before, you know what I'm up against. I can't be grinding bits off of this, it's not mine to destroy, so I'm going to use lots of PB Blaster, I'm going to break out some heat. I thought about welding a nut on the end of the broken off bolt, but I was worried it would uh, damage the threads and I'm not going to do that. It, in the middle of this project, you can tell I, I almost lost hope, but you know what, perseverance works with something like this and in the end I was successful. If you're going to try to drill a bolt out, you have got to get that center perfect. You screw it up and you're going to have problems down the road, so take your time. Oh, pretty damn close. Yeah, that's good. I anticipated the comments about left-handed bits and easy outs and all the other things that don't work. I've always said that if those things work, you probably didn't need them in the first place. I feel like I'm drilling all the way down to doggone Australia. It's ridiculous. Okay, I got it. The trick to this method is to use incrementally larger bits and to leave just a tiny rim of the original bolt. Go for it. I think the threads are toast. I can always grind it off and dug on and weld the new bolt on there. What I'm trying to do here is a little bit hard to explain, but if you can break off a little bit of the top thread of that remaining bolt, 
and then start twisting it with needle nose pliers in a counterclockwise direction, it'll start peeling off. And you can peel that thing all the way down to the bottom if you're really lucky, if you're having a good day. If you're having a bad day, you drill at an angle, you totally destroy all the threads in the <laughs> in the nut, and you have to drill the whole thing out and put in a helicoil or something similar. I have to say that taking the steel bolt out of this steel whatever is a whole lot easier than taking a steel bolt out of an aluminum block or whatever because the aluminum is so fragile, man, you, you look at it the wrong way and you destroy the threads. This was actually easier than working on the outboard. The face of your punch has to be sharp. If it's not sharp, it's not going to catch that little thin edge of the bolt that remains inside this hole here. So you, if yours is rounded off, and it will be if you've used it before, you're going to have to sharpen it. Not cursed after all. I will be doggone. Bolt extraction I've ever done on something this bad. Boy, it keeps giving me a thread to keep going. How lucky is that? Sorry. Shoot, that's not bad. I'm going to keep going. Look at that. That is not terrible considering what I was dealing with. Ah. Not too shabby, if I may say so myself. For what it is, that's not bad. Boy, for a Harbor Freight special. 
don't know if it's Harbor Freight or not, but it's done a good job.